Welcome back to my next playthrough series. This time I'm going to try a solo attempt to escape the Dark Castle. Uh, this is kind of like a fighting fantasy choose your own adventure uh, game. It's not very complicated, so I'll probably screw up some rules. Uh, and I'm not going to go over the details too much. There's some good videos out there on how to play. There's a playthrough even. Uh, and such. I'll just tell you quickly to set up the game. I think there's 53 uh, story cards in the game. Uh, so I'll show you. This is a, your, this is the story deck that you're going to play through. This is your starting card. It says turn over to begin. And this is one of the bosses you randomly choose. I don't know which one it is. Goes at the bottom. And you select 15 of the 53 cards that go in the middle which make up the story of you trying to escape from this dark castle. Uh, there are a whole pile of item cards, uh, so I'll just give that a shuffle here, so again, you don't think I'm cooking the deck to help myself out here, uh, which I am not. All right, there are chapter dice. These, I will show you how they work when we play them. And there is one golden die comes with the game. That is for a special item that you can find, perhaps. Uh, each character in the solo game or in a two-player game has 18 health. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am using 20-sided dice to track that. There are pencils and a little pad of paper that come with the game uh, for writing your health. The health your health is going to go up and down it, during the game as well. Now I'm going to be playing with the cook and the abbot. Um, and they have some stats here printed on the back of the wall. So th uh, four might... Uh, three cunning and one wisdom and the abbot has four wisdom three might and one cunning so there's kind of uh, a distribution of dice and what that means is on the dice and you can see each die per the six characters that come in the game have their own specific uh, dice so this is a cook dice <clears throat> so he'll show the kick will have one two three four uh, might symbols a cunning and a wisdom and that's reflected here on the stats so same with the abbot for the, the dice. I uh, don't think there's too much more to explain for the setup. So this is set up for solo. They get 18 hit points each for solo. I think if you play three players, it's 14 and whatever. Check, check the book. And this is the nice little rule book. It's not very long. And I am going to show you right at the back here. And yes, there's an expansion, which we'll probably play at some point in time on my channel. So it tells you what to do for solo play. It says Escape the Dark Castle is dying to be one player. One to four, the solo game, you choose two characters, which I've done, uh, and you begin the game as normal. You'll make the decisions and dice rolls yourself. There's two things to note. So, it says you must decide which of your two characters is turning each chapter card before you turn it. Any U effects in the text of the chapter will apply only to that character. Uh, and when instructed to draw cards, roll dice, or do anything per player uh, in a solo game, this should be read as per character. So, we have two characters, the cook and the abbot. All right, I think we're ready to begin. Uh, so I'll be changing camera angle because we're going to zoom down here uh, on the adventure deck. And we're going to turn over to begin the game. All right, so let's, let's have the adventure begin. It says turn over to begin. So we flip the card over and we have a look at it. So I think uh, I'm probably going to zoom in here as much as I possibly can. So you can see the text and the nice artwork that comes in the game. All right, so here we are. It says, after years of incarceration in the depths of the dark castle, you finally break free of your cell. In a small stone room adjoining the cell block stands an old wooden chest. The lock is open. And it says here, we're instructed to draw an item per player now. So we're going to uh, draw an item player all right so here's our item deck i've shuffled it once i'll shuffle it again just so you know all right so there's shuffle so we're going to draw one item per player now when you're drawing items it kind of goes into a general pool we can decide uh, either the cook or abbot gets which item and each character can hold two items basically one per hand there are some two-handed items in the deck which means it takes up both hands, so they're only going to be able to carry one item. So the first item that they find in the chest is the Effervescent Evasion Potion. Uh, when you would take damage, discard to avoid that damage. 
All right, well, that's one item. Uh, and the second one they find in the chest is the Elixir of Insight. Discard before any round of combat to change any one chapter die to show a trait of your choice. Okay, well, we're going to give we're going to give that one to the Abbot. I'm going to put their cards underneath, and we'll use the Effervescent Evasion Potion for the Cook. All right, uh, we're going to continue on with the card and see what it has to say for itself. And if I haven't mentioned it already, yes, heavy spoilers in this game <laughs> because there's only so many of these cards, uh, and uh, once you see the card and you know, then you'll remember it. So if you don't want any spoilers for the game, maybe just watch this opening episode. I'll go through a, probably a couple of cards only and uh, give you an idea of how to play the game. And then of course you can play it on your own if you get it, or if you want to watch the entire series, I will be playing right to the end. And how does it end? We either defeat the boss, if we can get through all 15 chapter cards, or either or uh, one of our two characters perishes goes to zero hit points then we lose the game all right continuing on it says you hear footsteps approaching you must not linger here you make for the exit slipping away and disappearing into the darkness turn the first chapter card now and this is when we need to decide whether the cook or the abbot is going to open that first uh or flip over the first chapter card so we're gonna back out and we're gonna decide the cook or the abbot and of course it does make a difference which one opens uh, or flips the chapter card because again there's could be text that says you take damage or you do this so the you will refer to which uh character so i think we're gonna have the abbot go ahead and flip the next chapter card and I'm going to use one of these little beads here so that I can try to remember who flipped the card over because I could get confused, as I do sometimes in my playthroughs. So the Abbot is going to be revealing the next card. And uh, yeah, here we go. So we're going to flip this over and take a quick look at it and then we'll zoom in and oh my god, that does not look good. All right, we're going to zoom in and take a look and see what it says. Oh my goodness, a monstrous winged creature swoops at you, at you, so at the abbot from the darkness above. Its hunting cry is deafening. Okay, it says you must try to roll cunning or a double in one attempt. Uh, if you succeed, you react quickly and dive aside. Begin combat. Wow. And if you fail, its claws slash your shoulder, lose two hit points, and begin combat. Ha! Huh. Nasty. Combat specials. After a player has taken damage from this creature, they can no longer block it. Wow. That's not good. Well, we're going to have to have the abbot then, uh, in one attempt, uh, try to make a cunning roll and i think his cunning is only one which means on his die he only has one side uh, that has cunning so it's a one in six chance that he's going to avoid uh, avoid the claws uh, and he will take damage which means he can no longer block and then we're going to begin combat so these symbols down here at the bottom wow this is a brutal monster to start with wow not good luck um is we have one cunning and one wisdom and this little uh, meeple symbol here means we have to roll a chapter die per each uh, character so we're gonna have to roll two and add those symbols so i'll show you how that works here in a second let's go ahead and have the abbot roll his die and see if he can somehow one in six chance come up with cunning all right so i got my little dice tower here we're going to take the abbot's die come on abbot do your cunning stuff and he gets double strength and a shield which is not going to cut it uh, so we look at the failure if the claws slash your shoulder lose two hit points so he's going to go from 18 hit points already down to 16 so he takes two damage and of course a special ability after a player has taken damage from this creature they can no longer block it so i'll keep the blue on there which means the abbot can't block damage now from this guy so we're going to have to set up the pool of dice to try and defeat this guy uh, so he's going to have one wisdom here uh, he is going to have one or sorry one cunning one wisdom and two dice that are rolled randomly uh, which are then going to be wow all right two more wisdom so there's lots of wisdom involved 
And the little two down here on the bottom of the corner of the card means that's how much damage you will take from the creature uh, if you do not uh, successfully block it. Now the abbot can't block anymore because he's already taken damage. The cook can uh, and before the combat you roll combat diced to fight you can decide if one of your characters is going to rest which means they are not going to participate in the dice, they're not going to roll their dice, they're not going to take damage, they can't do anything but they will recover one hit point. And so I think uh, I think they're both going to participate in the attack. We've got to get rid of these four dice by matching them up to overcome this. Uh, and we'll see what happens. So we're going to come back. And I think the Abbot and Cook are both going to participate in the first round of combat. All right, so I think we're ready to get going with the combat here. And you can't run away from the thing either, which uh, is brutal. We're either going to have to kill it or it's going to kill one of us and we're going to lose the game outright. That would really suck for this playthrough. <laughs> we'll give her a shot. I think the abbot is going to go ahead and use the Elixir of Insight. It's a post discard before any round of combat to change any one chapter die to show a trait of your choice. And we're going to take this wisdom one, which uh, the cook and the abbot don't, or sorry, cunning. They don't have the greatest cunning. And we're going to change it to a might because the cook has a very high probability of getting a might rolled. And uh, so we're going to go ahead, he drinks the Elixir of Insight, and let's go ahead now, we're going to roll their dice. Of course, this is the uh, Abbott die, the Cook die, we have to roll them together. We're trying to get rid of all of these if we can, come on. Okay, good stuff. So we get a double, okay, this is the Abbott die. He rolls a double, um, darn it, he rolls... Uh, double wisdom so that will knock out two of these dice out of the pool uh, and a shield but remember he's already taken damage so he cannot block the creature's attack so that's kind of sucks for him however the cook rolled two um she rolled two cunning <laughs> shouldn't have changed the cunning die to strength but she did roll a, a shield to block all damage so she's not going to take any damage from the creature now the creature you do an attack and then you defend. Well, we've attacked the creature now, uh, and we knocked two of its dice out, so two of its hit points, basically. But it still has dice left in its pool, so it will fight back. So we need to uh, defend. The abbot can't defend. The abbot's going to take two die or two hit points of damage, 16 down to 14. The cook now does have a shield. She won't take any damage, and the special combat ability doesn't apply to the cook because the cook has not taken any damage yet. So that's good. The cook, uh, well, the cook has the effervescent evasion potion. So if she, uh, she or he, I'm not sure. I think it's a she, whatever. The cook, <laughs> the androgynous cook, takes uh, the takes any damage. She can use effervescent evasion to not take any. So that might be something to think about but then of course we use up all our items we don't have any more items to keep going in the chapters and so on all right uh that was a round of combat over we're going to go into another round and what are we going to do abbott's already down to 14 health that's not too great i think the abbott is going to do something now at the beginning of each combat round you can decide what to do the abbott is going to rest because he cannot block anyway Although, should we rest or just try to take him out? Now, you know what? I don't think the abbot's going to rest. The abbot and the cook are both going to attack the monster. So it's the attack phase. If we can get rid of both of those dice, uh, we will slay the monster. And that will be the end of it. If we don't, then we're both going to take... Uh, well, we'll see. Let's roll the dice and find out. So, all right. The abbot gets his um, wisdom die and the cook gets her strength. So we do knock out both of those that is awesome so that was a really good roll for us and we go ahead and we defeat the winged monstrosity and what happens at the end of combat once you defeat a creature now we don't have to defend against it because we took it out so it's basically attack defend attack defend we've successfully attacked it got rid of all its dice it's dead it doesn't get to attack us back at the end of the round kind of thing so we've defeated it excellent now when you defeat a creature or and defeat uh, a monster you get to draw one item card and the item card can be distributed uh, any way you want you basically can, at the end of the turn can distribute item cards 
to whomever you like, we get a partially rotten apple. It's some food. Discard to restore one hit point to your character. You know what? We're going to give that to the abbot. He's going to munch down the apple right now, which he can do. He will go from 14 health up to 15. If I can find the 15 on the 20 side of die. It's one of the sides, I know. Uh, wow. Oh, there it is. 15. All right. So after our first chapter card, a cook is sitting pretty good. 18 health. And the abbot, a little bit smack down. 15. All right. Uh, and I think... We are probably uh, going to do one more chapter for today. So once again, we have to decide who's opening the door. This time, we're going to have the cook uh, go on to the next encounter. So we're going to flip over the next encounter card, and it will be the cook who is doing it. All right, if I can grab the card, the slippery fingers, and what do we have? Oh my god, it looks like another nasty piece of business. We're going to zoom in. We're going to see what it's all about. All right. It says you are knocked unconscious. So this is the, the cook is knocked unconscious and dragged down a side passage. You awake strapped to a table where a man in a filthy apron is scraping rust from a jagged blade. You are to be a test subject for the castle's torturer. Oh, great. All right. It says you must endure the pain until your absence is noticed. And you're rescued. So the abbot, of course, will have to rescue the cook. Roll your character die five times. For each roll that is not might or a double, you lose a health point. Okay, that's actually good stuff for the cook because the cook's uh, die probability is high to be rolling might. So we're going to go ahead and roll the cook's die, uh, die, die five times. And we're going to follow the rules of the card. All right, we're going to go ahead... And we're going to roll five times, and we're looking for strength or double. First one is strength. The second roll is uh, doubles. Right on. No damage so far. The third roll is strength. All oh, the cook endures this. No problem, he says. As he rolls, so that's one damage. Come on! And doubles. So out of all of that, the cook is only going to suffer one damage from 18 health down to 17 before the abbot finds the cook, rescues the cook, and scares away, I guess, the torturer. Wow. All right. I'm just going to readjust the camera here a bit, and uh, that'll be it, I think, for our opening episode. Uh, and now I can't remember if we get to draw an item card. I'm going to have to check the rules. This wasn't per se a fight. It was just a test. So... We're going to come back and we'll clarify that and uh, we're going to end off our episode for today. All right, so I'm going to leave it off here for today as our opening uh, introductory episode to Escape the Dark Castle. Again, it's a pretty simplistic game. You flip over your cards, you kind of get into the mood of what's happening uh, and so on. So I uh, hope this playthrough will give you a, a good idea of how it plays. Uh, and if this first episode did that for you, uh, then that's uh, good as well. You may want to uh, either play the game yourself so you're, you know, I don't reveal too many more of the chapter cards and spoil it for you. But uh, yeah, so right now we've got the cook. It's uh, down one hit point at 17 health, the abbot at 15. Uh, and we have one item, Effervescent uh, Evasion Potion. And no, we do not draw an item card after uh, enduring this. It's just after you defeat fighting an enemy. When you do a combat and you fight and defeat an enemy, you get to draw one item card. Or whether the card itself tells you to draw item cards. This one didn't. Alright, so thanks so much for watching along. This is Escape the Dark Castle. And uh, I will be doing, of course, a full playthrough of it, as I do on my channel. We have the Cook. We have the Abbot. We have lots of chapter cards to go through yet. And then we have the final boss to take on at the end. It's going to be pretty difficult. Uh, it's not the easiest game to win, I can tell you that. Uh, but it's a lot of fun along the way. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, your subscriptions, and likes. Very much appreciated. Join me next time for the continuation of Escape the Dark Castle.